Okay. Uh, a man of mass 90 kilograms swings from a rope that is 3 meter long. Okay. 3 meter long. His speed at the bottom of the swing is uh, 4 meter per second. Okay, what is the net force acting on him? Right, uh, so this question, if you look carefully, it is about circular motion, centripetal force. Ah, you know, the swing, because the swing, he says, is a swing. Alright, um, okay. So, okay, so maybe you can draw a picture, okay, to represent this. Um, right, so we have this, you know. Okay, the swing, the, the rope, this is the rope, yeah, rope, and the person at the bottom, okay, just a, this is the person, la. I just draw, a show. yeah, like that, okay, so, uh, okay, first of all, he said it's a 90 kilogram, okay, 90 kilogram, this is the mass, uh, this is the length of the rope, uh, this is the speed at the bottom, Okay, at the bottom so here is actually at the bottom already okay at the bottom so you have the speed i draw as v right as v equal to four meter per second uh, all right um and also it has um me all this second okay so uh, 4 meter per second the speed at the bottom so um, okay and okay let's draw the um, you know the free boy diagram that means we list out all the forces acting on this man uh, we have the weight of course you have the weight of the man okay weight is equal to mg okay given the mass there already 90 kilogram so that is 90 g and then uh, in the rope has the tension, isn't it? Has a tension because uh, this is the you know this is the, the fixed point, which is uh, we can say uh, you know this is um, uh, is a swing. Okay, so we can say this the the point the rope is fixed is the center of circle, is the center of the circle. All right, so there is a tension in the rope. Ah, towards the uh, center, yeah, ah, uh, yeah, because the the mass is hanging from the, the rope. Okay, this is the rope. Ah, uh, so this is the tension going up, and ah, uh, all right. So, ah, uh, find the net force. Question asked for find the net force. That means we want to find. Uh, resultant force, uh, which is the net force. Uh, so how to do this? Yeah, uh, we also have the three meter long. That is the length of the rope. That is actually the radius of the circle. Uh, okay, that's the radius of the circle. The length of the rope. Uh, wait, right. So this is the length of the rope. Is actually you know the whole the whole length. Is actually the radius of the circle, which is a uh, three meter. Uh, okay, and okay for this is a uh, this is about circular motion, right? Circular motion. So of course we have centripetal force. Fc. We have centripetal force. So okay. So this one um, at the bottom, uh, center at the top. So of course the acceleration is towards the center of circle. Uh, must draw this AC uh, AC towards the center of circle. Uh, always towards the center. Right? AC towards the center of circle. Ah, uh, so now we apply Newton's second law. Okay, we apply Newton's second law. Uh, uh, total F uh, total force equal to ma but for circular motion the acceleration is centripetal acceleration okay uh, uh, so this is actually the net force ah so we want to find the net force actually uh, this is what we want to find the resultant force ok 
okay, which is also equal to centripetal force. Uh, so, so what we want to find the net force actually is the centripetal force. Understand or not? Uh, so this net force we want to find is actually centripetal force because centripetal force is actually resultant force. Centripetal force is actually the net force. Understand? Uh, so it's actually the same thing. Uh, it's actually the same thing. So uh, the net force is the formula to find the net force is uh, we know uh, Newton's second law. Okay. Uh, okay. For Newton's second law, when we apply the Newton's second law, total F equal to MA. Okay. So to know the positive negative sign, uh, we same direction with same direction. Sorry. Same direction with acceleration we put as uh, we put as positive force uh, with opposite the acceleration opposite the acceleration we put as negative force so okay so uh, the force same direction with the acceleration is positive uh, the force which is opposite the acceleration is negative so we, from here we can see tension is positive. Tension is positive because same direction with acceleration. But the weight is negative because opposite the acceleration. Okay? Uh, so now write that down. Yeah? Write that down. So tension is positive. Weight is negative. So tension positive, weight is negative. Ah. Okay? Uh, that, that's our formula so we can write this as also uh, e minus mg equal to mac but is this question actually we want to is this question we want to find about the tension is it we want to find about the tension no this question is not to find the tension this question is not to find the tension this question actually to find the net force net force is not the tension net force is the centripetal force a uh, net force is the is the whole thing here. Ah, uh, you know, this whole thing is the this whole thing is the net force. Is it not? Uh, this is the net force. Ah, uh, so we this the uh, tension minus mg. This whole thing is the net force. Ah, uh, so uh, the net force is we can say this is the this is the centripetal force. Uh, this is the centripetal force, you know. Uh, this is the centripetal force. So we are not finding the tension here in this question. We are finding the centripetal force, which is T minus mg. You can say it as T minus mg, or you can say it as uh, MAC. Uh, so actually, this question we just need to find MAC. That's it. We need, just need to find MAC. So what is MAC? So uh, we know that centripetal acceleration is V squared over R. Just apply this formula. So uh, this is M become MV squared over R. Uh, so we, what we want to find is MV squared over R. Uh, understand? Okay, so let's uh, substitute all the values here. So we have the mass, uh, 90. Uh, we have the velocity, V is uh, 4 square. Uh, so uh, the the length is three meter long, three meter long. So what's the answer? Let's calculate. Ah, four eighty newton. Okay, so that's our answer. So our answer is this one. Uh, four hundred and eighty newton. That's our centripetal force. That's our that's our net force. That's our net force. That's our centripetal force. Understand? Uh, that's our net force. That's our centripetal force. Uh, that's our resultant force. But if the question asks to find tension, you also can find tension. You understand? If you want to find tension, uh, let's say I want to. Oh, then what is a tension? Let's say I need add another question. What is a tension? So uh, tension, you just use the formula uh, T minus mg equal to um, you know 
uh, MAC just now we got MAC is what MAC just now we got is 480 uh, just put 480 Newton and then tension minus uh, mass is 90 sorry ten, ten, uh, mass is 90 and then 9.81 so what's the tension let's uh, okay let's calculate also Ah, so tension is 1362.9 1362.9 Newton ah. So if you your answer you put 1380 then you're wrong yeah because that's the tension and also not so accurate ah, yeah some students put 1380 but that's the tension not the centripetal force not the net force net force is the centripetal force for AT only uh, that's the net force uh, tension is this okay this is the this is the net force or the centripetal force but the tension is this okay so that's all for these questions